All right, you might want to limit travel on 95 this morning in the middle of the state as we're dealing with excessively heavy rain, lightning and thunder. Hi, everybody. Good morning. It is time to check in with the only live Doppler radar in Connecticut, giving you an early warning that it is pouring out there and we have lightning and thunder. We got an email from Branford that said it sounded like a Hollywood movie. That's how intense the uh, lightning and thunder is. You can see it there in Branford on over into Guilford, North Branford. Good morning to you. Just absolutely inundated with rain and along this is uh, right along 95. So again, if you can limit travel along that corridor uh, over the course of the next hour or so, that would be a good idea. It is moving to the north and to the east, and uh, there's just a little bit down over Long Island, but we're in the thick of it right now in central Connecticut, so exercise caution. All right, now the flood advisory has been canceled for southwest Fairfield County, but it's been extended into Middlesex County now. And, I, you know, you can see the flood advisory literally following the rain as it continues to move across uh, southern Connecticut. So very heavy rain with lightning and thunder. Uh, this flood advisory is in effect for the, the rest of the morning until about 10 o'clock. All right, now alert. Yes, we are in early warning weather alert mode. We're expecting round one. We're in round one right now, and we're expecting round two between the hours of about two and seven. In between, we're going to get some partial sunshine that's going to heat up the atmosphere, and make it a little bit more unstable. And then when a cold front rolls in later this afternoon, Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon will be tracking those storms for you. Uh, if they do go severe, what are we talking about? Damaging wind, localized flooding, and there's even the opportunity for a tornado. It's low risk, but nonetheless, there is an opportunity somewhere in southern uh, New England. The severe threat has been enhanced to our neighbors to the north. Not so much for us here in Connecticut. We're still at level one for severe weather, but uh, they are at level two. Everybody shaded in the yellow there, so it's something to be uh, on the lookout for. If you're headed north today, please be careful. Uh, and be careful here in our state. All right, early morning future cast indicating that rain right now. It continues to churn its way through. By about 11 o'clock, we start to see some partial sunshine, one o'clock, and then here comes the uh, cold front. We're dealing with the warm front right now. We're dealing with the cold front this afternoon. This is three o'clock. This is five o'clock, showers and thunderstorms. And then that winds down. And tonight we're going to see some clearing. It's going to be an absolutely gorgeous late night. So we've got some damp roads out there for you this morning. That's for sure. It's also foggy too. Visibility is down a quarter of a mile in Chester, three quarters of a mile in Willimantic, a mile in New Haven with that very heavy rain. So not only do we have very heavy rain, but we've also got fog to contend with this morning. Here's our Waterbury ICAM where we did see a little lightning a little bit earlier. You guys are now coming out of the rain. It is moving away from Waterbury. Uh, more towards central Connecticut and you can see all the lightning those vivid white spots on the satellite and radar indicating we've got a lot of lightning out there for you this morning temperatures well it's soupy 55 is where we should be and look at those dew points right up there with those temperatures relative humidity cranking this morning at 100 percent 72 degrees in New Haven 72 degrees in New Haven this morning with the dew points of 70. That's tropical. All right, and the winds are basically calm. So here are your headlines, mostly cloudy with storms this morning, storms again this afternoon. And then once we get through these storms, a taste of autumn is on the way. Temperatures today top out in the upper 70s, low 80s with scattered showers and thunderstorms. We've gone ahead and issued that early morning weather alert. And then the rest of the week is calm and quiet and autumn-like. 